Hey, are you curious how to improve your brand awareness online? Then guess what? You have arrived in the right place at the right time on the right day, right here with Kimberly Collins, the educated natural. In today's video, we're going to show you key steps you can begin right now to improve your brand awareness online. Trust me, it's not as complicated as one may think. So welcome to a new session here on the channel, the educated natural that I like to call money mindset Mondays. That's right. We're going to be talking about things that deal with your money and your mind. But first let's kick that jingle. It's time for money, 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 and ways to improve it online is probably at the forefront of every entrepreneur's mind. But trust me, it's not as complicated as one may think it is. For instance, one thing that you can do is think about ways you can collaborate with other business people. I guess you can pretty much call this brand collaborations. For instance, you have a product idea and someone else has that same product idea. You collectively come together, formulate that product that you both have a desire to bring before a customer base. You name it together. You pretty much form a partnership on this one particular product, and then you market it out to both of your target audiences and you call it your product. You both earn revenue from it. You both get known for it and it builds and improves your brand awareness quite easily online. So one thing you want to implement if you're looking to improve your brand awareness is brand collaborations. There are tons of YouTubers that have come together and brought to each of us their collective brand item. And you, my friend, can do the same. So remember, number one, to improve your brand awareness online, simply do a brand collaboration. The second thing you can do, my fellow entrepreneur and creative, to improve your brand awareness online, all you have to do is get into podcasting, radio, and live streaming and do this one thing here. Trust me, it will bring you brand awareness like you wouldn't believe because it's done it for me. All you have to do, are you ready? The second thing you have to do is interview other brands out there. It doesn't have to be your huge, well-known brands. However, that helps a lot. You can simply start by interviewing those either in the same industry as yours or other people on your social media connections. For instance, if you know someone that's a Facebook friend with you that has a business or offers a service or products, interview them. This is a great way to not only get their audience to know about you, but to get your audience to know about them. This is a simple free way to build your brand awareness online. Personally, I've used this tactic throughout my entire business career so far it's because I have had radio shows. I have podcasts and I love bringing on fellow entrepreneurs onto the show interviewing them, having a great show and then telling everybody about their products and services, and they do the same for me. So it's a great tactic if you're looking to improve your brand awareness online. So number one was brand collaborations and number two are guest interviews. So now let's move on to number three. Number three is simply using social media and your connections. How Kim, those graphics that you see a lot of people 
use on social media that are promoting their products and services, maybe an upcoming show. These particular social media graphics are an excellent way for you, my fellow entrepreneur and creative to improve your brand awareness. For instance, if you go on, let's say Instagram right now, because it's usually known where you can post graphics as well as video now, you can simply create a graphic for Instagram. And do you know, if you do a search, you're actually able to create those particular graphics to look just like a Twitter post. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to do that. But in the meantime, try to figure out how you can build a excellent graphic to depict whatever product and service you offer to your target audience. The more people that see that graphic, whether you take that graphic and you put it in some sort of ad, the moment people see that graphic, it points them back to you. And if it's great enough, it will get the attention of people to visit wherever you tell them to go and buy whatever product you want them to buy because your graphic has gotten their attention right off the bat. And I'm telling you, as soon as you grab someone's attention, they'll probably easily swipe their card, insert their information, payment information into your website and buy whatever it is you're offering. So if you want to improve your brand awareness online, never neglect the power behind your social media graphics. It doesn't matter if you are a graphic designer or not. There are free services out there where you can collect and create graphics that will grab the attention of your intended audience and market. So remember, number one, two, and now three of the things you need to do in order to improve your brand awareness online. Number one, brand collaborations. Number two, guest interviews. Number three, graphics, your social media graphics. All right, let's move on to number four. Now, number four deals with those of you that have podcasts, radio shows, live streaming shows. So pay close attention. If you know that's you, this is something you do not, trust me, want to neglect. And that is use your referrals and don't be afraid to give out shout outs on your shows. This is one way when people hear you say, I would like to give a shout out to whomever. This gets your audience, your listeners attention to say, hmm, who they're talking about tonight? Who are they shining the spotlight on today? This is a great way to build another person's brand awareness online. Imagine sitting there right now, you're driving down the road and your favorite radio station is playing and you're just bopping to the music and a commercial comes on and they say, we want to give a shout out to whatever your brand is. It's going to make you feel like you have arrived. This is the same feeling you would like to give to those that are supporting you or whose products and services that you buy and you think people need to know about it too. Never neglect the power of a shout out or even a referral. Referrals come in handy if someone contacts you for a product or service that maybe you don't provide, but you know somebody that does. I have done this countless of times behind the scenes for a lot of entrepreneurs. So I'm telling you, there's nothing like receiving as a business owner, a referral. There's nothing like sitting, doing your business and receiving an email or a phone call or someone even buying your products or services, you don't know who they are, but someone else knew you and was nice enough to give a referral to that person about you. It's a great way to build your personal brand awareness as well as the brand awareness of someone else just saying their name, giving out their website, 
say whatever product or services it is that they offer and that you have used and you enjoy. It's a great way to build brand awareness online. So do not neglect the fact of the power behind saying someone else's information in your videos, in your podcast, or during your radio shows. It works wonders for them. So let's move on to the next one. Last but certainly not least number five, everyone can implement this one. And that is brand consistency across all your social media, across your website, even in the products that you wear. Brand consistency. For instance, The Educated Natural is my name on YouTube, it's my name on Facebook, it's my name on Instagram, and it's my name on Twitter. You have to have brand consistency. Why, Kim? I'm glad you asked. Because it makes it easy for those that follow you to find you. They only have to give out or search for one name and they know that's going to lead them directly to you. And one thing I know about brand awareness is that the easier you make it for people to find you, the more than likely they are to buy from you. You will increase your return on your investment if you make it easy for people to buy. If you make it complicated, if your name of your business is long and it's spelled crazy and people have to search all over the internet to find you, they're going to get sidetracked by the other things they find that is not you and they're going to buy and take their business elsewhere. That's not what you want to risk as a business owner, especially one that's looking to improve their brand awareness online. Consistency is key. No, that's not a cliche statement. It's true. That's why over the years, I've made sure to keep my name as simple as possible across every single social media platform. Also, it's also why I'm fighting so hard to make sure that it's registered to me and no one else. It keeps down confusion. So if you're looking to improve your brand awareness online, stop what you're doing. Go right now and make sure all of your key social media places point back to one single name and it comes back to you. So let's recap. Number one, in order to learn how to improve your brand awareness online, the first thing you need to do is try, if you can, to commit to brand collaborations. Number two, if you're in radio, podcasting, anything of that nature, live streaming, do guest interviews. Get those key people on your shows, interview them, make it a great show and a great experience, and they will not have a problem telling other people about you, your brand, or anything else, okay? Number three, Social media graphics and referrals. Do not be afraid to put some stellar graphics out there to grab the attention of your followers and your listeners. Number four, there's nothing wrong with giving a shout out of those that support you, those that you support, that you think the world needs to know more about. Shout them out on your shows. It does wonders for their confidence. It does wonders for their brand awareness. And it's gonna make you feel great on the inside because you, my friend, for free, have helped another business owner. And lastly, remember brand consistency. If you know you have 15,000 names across your social medias, stop it. Make it congruent. Make it easy to get your sales. Make it easy for people to find you if you truly want to improve your brand awareness online. I'm Kimberly Collins, The Educated Natural. If you ever want to find me across social media, just look for The Educated Natural. If you be so kind, 
You can also visit my website at www.sewnonpurpose.com. And as always, if you ever need anything from me or my company, we are always here to help you learn about what it takes to run a successful, sustainable business. This has been great. This has been fun. If this has touched you in any way, informed you of anything that maybe you need to work on, I would like to thank you in advance for that thumbs up. Thank you for your comments as well as subscribing to this channel. Until the next video, as I always say, be sown, be rooted, and be blessed. Until the next time, peace.